Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace back again with another video. Let's talk Splatoon, shall we? This should be a very brief video, but apparently it's already almost time for the next Splatfest for Splatoon. Because Nintendo of America has announced it will be next weekend, uh, the 17th, at 9am Pacific Time. So that would be, I guess, 8 at night my time? I can't remember now with the comparison with Pacific Time. Uh, but anyway, to the 18th, so it's pretty much the same time as uh, last time. But this time, it's not cats and dogs, it is roller coasters versus water slides. Not gonna lie, I find this to be kind of a pointless one. Um, because there's basically, there's gonna be three groups of people with this. There's gonna be those that, you know, obviously choose uh, roller coasters or those that choose water slides. But there's a third group, and there's gonna, they're probably not a huge majority. And especially when you put into consideration the amount of them that would have had Splatoon. But there's going to be people that don't really give a shit about both, <laughs> much like me. Now, for me, I'm just probably going to, if I play this, I'll probably just choose uh, water slides, because I'm not a fan of roller coasters, never have been, but water slides are a decent thing anyway, I suppose. Uh, so I'm just a little disappointed with the subjects, the ch or topics that you can choose from, but oh well. And you got to ask, is it even worth it to keep playing these Splatfests? I know it's fun. But, at the same time, is the reward really worth it? You temporarily get a shirt, and then... And then what? Then you get some seashells that you can use to do uh, stuff with your armor. I really think that the rewards should be exclusive, you know, clothing. Three-star clothing. Um, and maybe some shells, too. But, I don't know. Either way, that's all for that part of Splatoon's story, but we got one more little thing I want to throw in here that's Splatoon-related. Splatoon's getting another brand new map later today, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time, so I think that's... It's either 6 or 8 my time, I forget. I think I'm an hour ahead, so that's probably 8, uh, eight my time. But anyway, it's, uh, it's a tower map called Moray Towers, and it's a map unlike any we've played yet, um, where you basically... You each start, it looks like, on top of two towers, and then it's a vertical map where you go straight down and then zigzag your way down and right back up to the other side. So, it's... I don't know, I feel like it's going to be an interesting map. The super jump ability is probably going to be a very useful thing here, which, with my gamepad in the condition it's in, <laughs> that is going to be a challenge, so I probably won't play it too much. Um, but, either way, it's another map that's good. I know a lot of people really want... Uh, what's that map called? Hurry up and get out here. Um, camp something, or something camp, where it looks like you're on like a wooden dock and everything. Or everything. I agree, that looks like a cool map indeed, but uh, we'll just have to wait for a while. And remember, next month is, I believe, the big Splatoon update, where the major things they were adding was like that friend feature where you can actually party up with a group of three friends and search together as a group and you don't get shuffled around. So... That'll be nice if you actually got three buddies that you uh, can all get on at the same time and play together with. But anyway, I guess that's it for Splatoon news. As always, I'm Original Blood Ace. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.